Hi, uh, now we're back. I'm going to illustrate the principle of hydraulics. We do this lab in class, and the principle of hydraulics is based on Pascal's principle. And usually, uh, when we're illustrating and talking about Pascal's principle, we, we do a certain drawing looking like this. You see this in textbooks a lot. And you have a certain piston here. And then you exert a certain amount of force here. And then maybe you have a car here or something other heavy that you're trying to lift. And so the idea of Pascal's principle is here, if before I push it, this part of the water is in, at, at the same pressure as this part of the water, okay? So the, the pressure, they're at the same level, so it's the same pressure. Now I exert a certain amount of extra force here that extra amount of force that I exert is gonna add pressure to this side of the water. Pascal's principle says that that pressure is gonna permeate and the change in pressure is gonna show up here and this side is also gonna experience the same change in pressure. So the final pressure here will equal the pressure here. So let's call this F in, let's call this area in, the area of this piston. Let's call that F out, divide that by area out, okay? So the pressure in will equal pressure out, according to Pascal's principle. Now in the real life, there is some loss of pressure due to frictional losses and stuff, but uh, in theory, pressure in equals pressure out, which means F in over A in equals F out over A out, okay? If I cross multiply, I get A out over A in is equal to F out over F in, okay? Now, of course, for usual purposes, we want to be able to be able to have a bigger force here. We want to be able to lift a heavy object so that by exerting a small amount of force, Okay, so we want this number to be bigger than one. We want to be able to uh, exert a much bigger, we want to be able to exert a smaller force in order to lift a heavy object. So we want this to be bigger than one. This is called the actual mechanical advantage. A M A. Okay? Actual mechanical advantage of the of this machine. So in order to increase the actual mechanical advantage, what do I need to do? I need to have the area out as big as I can, and I need to have the area in as small as I can. Right? Now, the other thing that's going to be true is the distance that I'm going to uh, move it. Usually, you're going to move this through a greater distance, distance in, and the car is not going to lift up as much. So, the car might be lift up from here to here. This is called distance out. Okay? But that really doesn't matter because I could keep pumping this. I could push it in, push it out, push it in, push it out, push it in, push it out, push it in, push it out. And the car can go small increments, small increments. So the increments don't really matter to me in reality because I could keep raising it, raising it as much as I, well, as, as I want. So the distance really doesn't matter. So as long as the ratio of area out to area in is big, I can get a machine that has a, good work, uh, that has a good mechanical advantage. So let me show you here kind of the basic idea here. I have, a pist uh, I have a platform here. Now, you see the piston here? The area of this is area out, okay? That's area out. And I have water in there with the tube. So that's area out. Now, I have a syringe here, and the area of this is very small. That's area in. Right? Area in. Okay? So the ratio of area out to area in is pretty big right now. I have a big area out, and then I have a very thin area in. I'm going to put 4 kilograms here. So my F out is going to be 4 kilograms times 9.8. That's going to be 39 Point two newtons, okay? To measure my force 
in, I'm going to do this. I'm going to use the GLX Explorer. Okay. And I have a force sensor here. So I'm going to open this water. I'm going to open the syringe. Now over here, it's going to show you a plot of force versus time. So I'm going to press play. And you can see it's recording right now force versus time. And as soon as I push this, you see this rubber? I'm going to be pushing this in. As I push this in, this is going to be, this is going to be lifting. So watch this. Okay, lift it a little bit. Okay. Now, of course, if I want to keep repeating it, I will pull it out, push it in again, pull it out, push it in again, pull it out, push it in again. But right now, let's just stop this. You can see here, this is the force that I exerted. It was zero, and then I exerted the force. It went over there. So now I go to tools, statistics, okay? And I want it to give me the average. So I go over here to the right side. Okay. Then I go over here under tools. I swap cursor. In other words, what I'm doing here is asking the explorer To give me the average, the graph of the force was like this. And it went like this. I want to know what is the average of the force while I was pushing it. So over here, it gave me the average of the force was 4.41 uh, newtons. 4.41 newtons. Okay? Average force, 4.41 newtons. What is my mechanical advantage? F out over F in. This is actual mechanical advantage. 4.41. You do a ratio. Let's calculate that. 39.2 divided by 4.41. 8.88. So roughly about 9. Okay, so that's pretty good, a mechanical advantage of nine. Now, what's going to happen if I remove that syringe? And replace it with a bigger, thicker one. Okay, so as you're watching this video, make a guess in your mind. What's going to happen? I'm going to keep this syringe the same, the, the, the uh, A out. I'm going to make this one thicker. So see if you can guess. So now exert it, exert it. You can see it getting lifted up. Okay. So now let's see. Press play. Again, make the cursor go. Okay, so what's the average force? Uh, average force 35.7, okay? So this time it took a lot more force, 35.7. So now, uh, one point something, right? Just a bad bit over one. So you can see here, if I, I could exert less force if I have a smaller syringe. So uh, in the lab, we go more detail into this. We measure how far this went up. We measure how far we, this went in. We do more calculations. We calculate the efficiency of the engine and all of that stuff. So we go more detail. But at least this shows you the very basic concept of pass transformers control, how to measure uh, the mechanical advantage. And then you can see that the greater the ratio of the area, the two areas, the bigger the efficiency and the bigger the mechanical advantage of the machine is. Thank you.